Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is the day of the fight. It's October 12th, 2024. Beterbiev versus Bevel. Just some final comments here. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, a subscriber here has pointed out to me that Bevel was badly hurt in a fight. He mentioned the Joe Smith fight. Right now, I saw that fight and I thought, gee, how badly hurt was Bevel? So I went back. And, you know, this is a learning experience um, for me. I went through the later rounds and I found a video where Joe Smith does land, ironically, on the side of Beevil's head, right? Prime hunting ground for Arthur Beterbiev at the end of, I believe it's the 10th round or so, right? Closing seconds of the 10th round, it's akin to Jorge Linares landing on Devin Haney. And Beevil so badly hurt that as he walks to his corner, Right, Beevil has a poker face, but you notice that Beevil's unsteady and he has to hold the top rope on his way back to his corner. Let me point out that it's very important footage. I'm guessing that the Perturbiev people, and I mean Perturbiev, the fighter and his trainer and his group of strategists, have looked at that footage and are very interested in the idea of trying to hit Beevil with shots to the side of his head. Right? Be aware that the footage exists. Understand that Beevil does come back strongly after that. Understand that the reason Joe Smith, a heavy puncher, wasn't able to follow up <laughs> is that the bell sounds almost simultaneously with him landing the shot. And it's interesting because Beevil seems to be looking away from him. It's an open question on whether Beevil was distracted by the fact that it was the end of the round. Right now, it doesn't change my view on the fight. I believe Beevil is uh, blessed defensively. Um, understand, Beterbiev already has a reputation, and it's well-earned, for hitting people on the side of the head around the ear area. Right? Whether or not uh, this video surfaced, I'm pretty confident that Beevil is going to be mindful of protecting the side of his head, right? What's interesting, too, is Beevil's comeback after the incident uh, where he backs Joe Smith up and he puts the exclamation point at the end of the sentence by riddling Joe with shots. And you see the combination punching that I've been talking about this guy having. Um, you recognize that against a guy with a wide stance like Beterbiev has. If Beevil gets inside and starts riddling Beterbiev with shots, it's unclear what Beterbiev will be able to do because a guy who throws punches in bunches is very hard to clinch. And Beterbiev, in my opinion, doesn't have an educated back foot. He's primarily a front foot guy. So, I hope you go to my favorites folder. Look at the film. I concede. I concede. Bevo looks badly hurt to me. I concede that if Joe Smith had another 15 seconds in the round, he may have gotten a stoppage. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Let's also recognize, too, that Joe Smith is the guy who knocked Bernard Hopkins out of the ring. 
right? Blessed puncher, Baturbi of beat Joe Smith, but that was an early stoppage. That fight didn't have the opportunity to mature into a fight where Joe Smith was able to show his offense. He had a problem, just like he had a problem with Paterbio's movement. He had a problem with with Beevil's movement. Smith had a problem in that fight with Paterbio's lateral movement. Food for thought. Let's all enjoy the fight. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.